Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are in Two Point County, but this time we're not managing a hospital. We are going to be managing a university. That's right, it's Two Point Campus. We are back with Albert Crank, our own personal advisor, and he is apparently here to help or hinder one of the two, we're not quite sure. We're going to be seeing a lot of uh, similarities between this and Two Point Hospital, I would imagine. But we have no experience as a campus administrator and very little experience as a hospital administrator, so we're going to fit in just fine. Anyway, we are here at Freshly Meadows, which is where we're going to first begin our academic empire. So, we are at Freshly Meadows, a countryside college with low expectations and a very nice canal. It's the perfect place to start our career. We'll have a nice $500,000 starting fund, so let's dive on in and we will probably aim to get the first one, two, and three star objectives on this level done. As we know, these first few levels in this game are pretty simple, and it's just about managing, you know, little bits and pieces within the hospital slash college. It's not something that one simply opens, like a savings account or a jar of pickles. Any self-respecting academic institution was doubtlessly opened long ago by dignified people who wore bowler hats and spoke via subtitle, The world is a creation of the past, and it is our job to keep it all going and try not to touch anything. So here we are, Freshly Meadows, uh, which looks pretty nice, actually. So. Life moves slowly and expectations are lowly, just how I like it. <laughs> the two-point countryside is the perfect place to start your career, learn the ropes, make mistakes and hit the ground smiling. Course info, Scientography, student intake of 10. So I guess that's the course we need to make, so before we start churning out geniuses, we'll need to learn the basics of campus management. Moving the camera, having a look around, the usual sort of stuff, zooming in, zooming out, rotate, pitch up and down, nice and easy. Now we need to run a Scientography course. We start that by building the Science Lab. So we're, we've got, you know, the UIs a little bit more um, expanded upon comparatively. So what we got here, we've got like a lecture hall here. And our Science Lab is a 5x5 five five room. So let's go... We're actually going to make it a 6x6 six six because why not? I like that little gap there. So we're going to fill that in. And over here we have... What's this then? Science board. Put our science board in. We have a science hub. We can go there. Science shelf, which is apparently unquestionably flammable. And then a whiteboard. We'll put there a leafy plant, which increases attractiveness. That's pretty much all we've got by the looks of things. What's recommended and the door. Yeah, it looks like that's all we've got. Oh, we're going to move this whiteboard because it's blocking a window there. It looks like that's going to be sold anyway. For some strange reason. There we go. That's better. And we'll, we'll put a couple of plants in. Why not? As you can see, we've still got a prestige rating in the rooms. That's three. And it does seem to go up quite a lot. It's looking a little bit better in terms of the uh, decorative sort of stuff, but that's now only going up very slowly. So we're just going to put a load of plants in all the way along here, and we'll just leave that wall as is. If we get some new decorative items, we should be okay. We've got our Scientography, and now we need to hire a teacher. So let's have a look. The staff that we're going to have, we've got Edward Rhymes. He's a Scientography teacher. 70% teaching skill. I'm assuming we're going to work out what this is. He's dropped litter and he's a dirty snake, apparently. Okay, we'll, we'll let you in there. That's our Scientography. Ready to go. And we can start our academic year. So we just need to complete a Scientography class. We're going to have a little look around at all the other plots we've got here. We've got uh, what looks like a... Old bowling green of some description, I guess. Students are arriving on campus. Ah, I'm not nervous. Lovely canal here. It's a very uh, kind of British looking. The old like Victorian style houses and little bits of warehouse popping up as well. It looks like we only have those three plots though that we can expand into. And the rest is just very much easy going. 
village life. Right, what do we got? We've got some people coming in. This is our teacher, isn't it? Yeah, Edward. Got a hello. Wolfric Half Moon. Oh man. That's a good name for a goth. What have we got here? You're looking pretty sporty. Willow Weaver. Feeling fine. Henrietta Belcher. Okay, right, students are in the class. Let's go have a look at what's uh, what the class does. You're listening to Campus Radio, the sound of student life in Two Point County. I'm Felicity Bellbottoms. Now, everyone has been talking I'm about speed it up a little bit. supermarket. Uh, off to play around with this machine. Treats. Taking notes. We'll be wading through the fudge. <laughs> to look okay, at the story cool. Of two students crushed under the weight Some of weird pla topping. Did he just he licked the weird cube and So as students learn, they gain experience points which will increase their academic level. Good to know. We've made a nice little monthly profit there. I guess we get profit from course signups and people completing courses and as well as like I don't know maybe if people have to live on camp campus you get rent from the dormitories and then food sales and stuff. It looks like they all take a turn using this weird machine to smash out this pink block and then they lick the pink block <laughs> which is a bit weird and it looks like we've finished Scientography. Uh, somebody has drop litter in the classroom and what's going on here what have you got okay so let's just quickly pause the students passed the first class sadly they didn't do all that well it seems a number of them were distracted by one need or the other a student have, that has everything they need will be more happy less distracted and be able to focus on their studies in an enthusiastic and cheerful haze okay nice right so students needs such as their thirst or toilet comfort will affect their overall happiness happy students perform better in classes and earn more xp take a look at our students and see what we can do to improve the campus okay right so What's going on? The key to campus hospitality is to remember the three R's. Students need somewhere to relax, rest, and relieve. Nice. Okay. Sure, two of those might be the same thing, but it does sound convincing. Let's build a dormitory and a bathroom. Right. Let's uh, head on over to our builds. I'm going to build a dormitory. These are two by two rooms. So we can make them pretty small. We'll have a nice little row of them all the way along here, I guess. We only need to put in a couple of little things, like a wardrobe and a bed and and that's it should we do like single dormitories or we could I guess have multiple occupancy in them who knows I'm gonna see if we can fit in something else here can I just fit that in there no that fit though excellent right now we can put the desk in perfect and then we'll put in a hand sanitizer. We always put the hand sanitizers in. We know this by now. Dorm notice board. And I think that'll do for now. I love TP. It means two point, not toilet paper. <laughs> okay, right. That will do. And then hopefully we can copy those. Yep, yeah, we can copy that room and just duplicate it all the way along. One bed between five students is considered not student. <laughs> oh, okay. Interesting. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to copy my dormitories all the way along. I have the money to do so. So, you know, this There's is going to happen. Concern about the flowers going to let on campus this autumn. our students have, have Why aren't they here their own bedrooms. Didn't there used to be flowers over there? These Why are not? some of the many questions posed by concerned, botanically inclined students. I mean, are they getting Thanks into... Comment, the you're just looking in a cupboard. The seasons. I'm going to run the dormitories all the way along here. Where's I'm going to leave some gaps for bathrooms here? now. Oh, sorry, that's mine. So we have, what, eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dormitories there. And it looks like... Kind of everybody has somewhere to go. <laughs> right, bathroom. Two by one is the minimum, but we're gonna put one in like this. And I guess these can be shared, can't they? We've got the door, the Royal Flush. Uh, that's actually if you have a two-point account, you can you can do that. Get the uh, the Royal Flush toilet, but we're just gonna go with the normal ones. Nice hand dryer put in right there, and a sink. 
doesn't seem to want to conform. Can we just move the hand dryer? Is that going to cause an issue? Yeah, we can put it there. And the sink is obviously not going to go in place. Oh, how annoying. Staff are reminded that dogs okay. don't eat homework. I do this and then put the sink in here. There we go. Right, that's done. And then we'll copy this bathroom. Oh, we've unlocked the shower room now. Maybe we just have a, a bathroom and a shower. So uh, I'm going to build a shower room. Forget about what's going on right now. They're asking me to put cheesy gubbins in, but I'm not going to bother. <laughs> right now we've got two showers in. Towel, towel rail, can I fit it in? Right there, and another one there. And we can, can we put a sink in? Yeah, there we go. And a uh, hand sanitizer. Right, so now we need to place a cheesy gubbins machine. Cheesy gubbins. Right, food. That is food, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Distracted students should pretend that they're. Range. Where's my. Okay, does it go in it? Oh, corridor items. Okay, right, okay. So a cheesy gubbins machine. I'm going to put these next to the classroom and a burp machine right here as well. And I'm going to throw down some bins. Do we have bins that we can use? There we go. Put one here and one here. And then we need to hire a janitor. We've got teachers, assistants and a janitor. Jackie Goop, Troy Plunge, Holly Blancmange. I'm going to bring Jackie in, seeing as the game seems to be demanding that I do it. <laughs> And let's see how the students do in the next class. So we need to uh, pass a Scientography class with grade C+. Plus, so we should be able to do that now. Photography lecture starting now. So is there any... We have eight on campus. It's time for the story of two students. But nobody who are seems to have slept in it. Anyway, supermarket's new ice cream. So they're now ah okay right okay so they're taking scientography in here now. They are leveling up. Somebody's asleep there though. Wake up. That's right. three. Ben and Sarah used to go out to the green. Their hearts full of gumption. Their cool this is cool. I'm really liking it now at the moment. It's, it's looking really good. It's a nice kind of introductory kind of mission to it all. And I have been looking forward to it for a long time. And uh, I did see a lot of uh, sort of other creators playing like um, pre release or um, review copies and stuff. So it was quite nice that, you know, to get a little look at it and see how the game was developing. I mean, Two Point have done such a good job with Two Point Hospital and to kind of keep it going right up until release on this. I mean, we only recently had a new DLC for Two Point Hospital release and I'm still working my way through the base game on that, which if you are watching the channel, you'll see that we've gotten quite far into that now. Anyway, let's go back. The students look smarter already. Uh, the better they do, the more money you'll have to fund the campus. Who's smart now? Yes, you receive tuition fees from all students enrolled in courses at the campus, as well as a bonus for how much XP they're earning. Okay, so we got 10 grand with a nice monthly bonus of 5. Uh, satisfying student needs is just one way to improve our grades. Next on the agenda is a spot of studying. Luckily, the students have just been given their first assignments. Completing assignments is a great way for students to earn XP away from the classroom. Though it looks like they need some new facilities, check your inbox to see what they need. So this is very much where, uh, very similar to Two Point Hospital, where if you had like a new treatment that you uh, hadn't quite diagnosed and you, it, it said you needed to build more diagnosis rooms or there was a specific treatment like that could only be done in one particular treatment room and it said you need to uh, build this room to improve that. So here we're being told to um, provide a library for our students. Let's build that. How big does this need to be? It's a three by three room. We're going to put it, uh, we can probably fit it here. I think that's a decent size for that. Or should we make it a little bit bigger? I should be able to fit a couple more dorms down that way. Yeah, that makes sense. Right, okay, so we've got a library reception. We can put in there. And then what else do we require? Some nice bookcases and study desks and then another bookcase and then I'll put in a 
another study cubicle. Can we fit these back to back? Yes, we can. And then we'll just about squeeze in another bookshelf there. Okay, yeah, I think that works. We can uh, put a library notice board in somewhere if we can actually fit it in anywhere now. Oh, there, there was one there. Tiny little, there we go. We'll put some windows in. There we go. Uh, the invalid item is just the bin. We do still have one over there. Hire an assistant and then complete an assignment in the library. Okay, let's hire an assistant. What do we got? We've got some happy thoughts. Boost library learning rate. We're going to take this one. Clint Turbo. Drop you in there. Oh, you've got a nice hair, man. You are definitely a, a cool guy in the library. Right, let's uh, can we speed this up. Hi, I'm Ricky Hawthorne. I don't remember being a student, but I'm so some sure of them are desperately in need of the toilet yet. Time. Ricky, what would you eat Ongoing. if you were a student? <laughs> and I say, I'm going to um, the copy these dorm rooms and put another one in. It's cheap. It's inexpensive. And above all Let's else, do another one. it's affordable. I'm just going to really fill this place out now. We're going like to put in another toilet. Frequently asked questions. I believe that smell is you oh, an invalid item to sell there i'm not quite sure what it was i guess it was the window it looks like it we'll put another bathroom there and another shower room going on why have we got an invalid item Oh well, I'm not quite sure why that became invalid being over there. Right, let's see how they do in their next class. Where are they? Right, we're over here. We're in year one, month six. And it looks like it goes by on just a monthly basis. Can hide our timeline. But... Okay, what's this? Month... Oh, that's okay, right. A monthly income report for December in year one. Was that somebody's touring the campus? I'm not quite sure what was said there. But hopefully we'll get everyone up to grade B. There are ample type. What are you doing? And it looks like... Oh, they've gone from C grade chumps to B grade brain heads. Let's recap how you did, shall we? So, campus management 101. Provide better staff and facilities to improve your students' grades. Make students happy and comfortable to increase their learning rate. Earn more cash by growing your campus and enrolling more students. Got it. Unlock an item with Kudosh. Kudosh is back. Let's see what we can get for our hard-earned Kudosh. So, arcade machine, 15. We'll take that. The meat wizard. And we've unlocked the student lounge. So, what have we got here? Orange juice. So, provides an energy boost. And education is priceless. Ooh, okay. Just seeing what else we can put down here. Okay, let's just uh, slow things down a second. Partition wall. <laughs> Odd one. Sunflower. The dark throne. A raven lamp. Okay, so we've got quite a few different bits and pieces that we can unlock. They look pretty cool. Um, we're going to get this payphone. I think that would be good. Give the students the ability to, to phone home. Load of posters and stuff we can drop down here that could improve our kind of happiness and Really decor within rooms and stuff. Oh, crazy taxi machine. Just can't fill it all. Oh, open to news it's got to be the next one we go for. Really just anything that will take right, okay. Average staff air. happiness of, of 60%. Good night. Employ five staff members. Fill the staff room. Finish questions. our first year on campus. Right, okay. So, first thing we want to do, 
We have unlocked new rooms. What did we unlock? A student lounge and a staff room. So we'll we'll pop a student lounge down. These need to be three by three. We can actually put them, we're gonna put one here. Um, fridge. Kitchen sink. <laughs> microwave. A microwave. Microwave. Ah, dear, what a... Right, and a dartboard. Hand sanitizer. What have we got here? A two-player game table. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll unlock that, and then we'll put that in the student lounge. And then we can put down another chair, I guess, if we can fit one in anywhere. No, we can't. Okay, that'll do. We've got a nice student lounge put in place. And then we'll build a staff room. To give our staff something to do. Might actually expand them both at some point because there's a lot of that you know we've got some dead space there some little staff cubby holes and sanitizer we'll give the staff an arcade machine and then their own private vending machines some notice boards we'll put a dog board in for them too why should the students have all the fun I mean, they're going to have to because I can't fit the dartboard in. <laughs> ah, that'll do. It's looking pretty good. And then we just need to employ two more staff members. Well, I'm not sure who we can bring in. I guess we bring in another assistant. And another lecturer. Yeah, why not? That's our staff members. Complete two assignments. Uh, oh, extra credit. Okay, so what's extra credit? Is this just like extra objectives that you can complete? And then we just need to finish our first year on campus. What do we got here? Park bench wanted. Okay, I'll, I'll give you some park benches outside. I like these little student requests. They're pretty cool. Are you happy with that? You want a love bench. Okay, <laughs> we'll put a little love bench out here for you. And then what else have we got here? That's just profit margins and stuff. But now I think we're looking good, we're going to speed it up. So I'm really, really quite liking it so far. It's it's playful, it's fun, it's well animated. The graphics are like a, a little bit of a step up. They've still got that like cartoony funness about them, like we got from Two Point Hospital. I like that the uh, people in here have various different personalities and things like that. Because obviously, when you were playing Two Point Hospital, it was very clear, you know, you had people with various illnesses, like you'd have the people coming in dressed as Freddie Mercury because they needed to go and get psychological help or something for their weirdness. Or you'd have extra, you know, like premature mummification where they're covered in bandages and walking around like a mummy. Obviously here you don't have that, so you kind of need to build in some quirks and stuff that they could potentially have, like these kind of different personalities. You've got kind of a goth, um, Class clown, bit of a jock. So what have we got here? So average student happiness of 76%, a level three dormitory, satisfy two personal goals and develop two best friends friendships. Oh, that's cute. They want a textbook cubicle and I guess they want that in the library. So I'm gonna remove one of these and then we'll put in our textbook cubicle. go 
Okay, so consider hiring some more janitors, it's telling me. Right, what do we got here? Maintenance skill, movement speed. We'll take Miles Binge for movement speed. So we need a level 3 dormitory. We currently have a pretty low level 2 one. What can we do to boost the uh, decoration in this one? What's recommended? I have 165 kudosh, so maybe we should put in some rugs. We've got a nice little pennant there. That'll go on the wall. A record rug. <laughs> a fancy hat stand. Don't know where these are going to fit, mind. Like this fancy hat stand. Oh. Yeah, it won't go in there. But the rug, we can surely just drop on there. We've got the desk in. Can we put a little window on there? That does increase things by quite a bit. And then we've got these little flags that we can put in. And that's it, level 3 dormitory. And then we need to develop two best friends friendships. Someone wants a tree bench. That's for dating. What's this for? Okay, right. Now I understand. So you place various items and they improve people's friendship ratings. So Nigel place social and friendship items around Radio. campus. We're expecting Hello, a weed infestation on campus. Oh, very first time, oh right, okay. Sequels. Yes, that's right. When the wicked and wretched behind... Oh, that kind of weed. I thought you were referring to something else that often goes on on campus. Right, um, let's have a look at what we can do for friendship. Okay, relationship items. What do we got here? So these are for dating, mainly. Now in here, we can have... Um, this is good for developing friendship. And we already have a few out here. So, hmm. What else have we got? A lot focused on more like romance type stuff. So I, I need more kudosh before I can do any of that. But the dorm, if they go in there and hang out there, I guess what we could do is we'll actually edit the staff room. Um, see if I can move it. Pick up room. Put this over here. And then we'll edit the size of this one. Now that's actually pretty good because when you previously edited rooms, it kicked everybody out. Here it looks like it just lets you add the extension onto it, which is really cool just allows you to keep playing the game without anyone kind of getting booted out of space. And I like, actually as well, that here we seem to have like a multitude of options and like customization stuff on these little tables, which is also really cool. Okay, that should do it. Does this increase? Yeah, okay, so that develops friendships as well. And let's put a bin in here. Nice. Right, okay. So, we've got to still develop those friendships. We're doing okay. We've got two months left. And I'm just hoping that we can develop... What are these guys? That's... They look like they're good friends. Okay. Randy Fenderson. And Tessa Mini. Oh, okay. They aren't just... Friendship. Oh, right. Okay, this could be tough. Have you got any friends? <laughs> Any, any friends at all? No? Do you have any friends? Okay, we've got good friends and best friends right there. Sequelization, or the so, art of doing something again, is derived from the Greek word... And again, best friends there. ...meaning lazy, repetitive, or in some way redundant. Hmm, it would seem... Maybe it's because they've already been best friends and I've not got there quick enough, and oh, yeah, that's an issue. Times.
But never mind. We can we can make some more friends, can't we? Wolfric, are you gonna make friends with anyone? Frequently asked questions. Your food is called Panther is a soulmate. <laughs> I like this. I like the uh, the relationship dynamic and stuff. It really it sets the scene quite well, isn't it? We're almost at the end of year. Got a love trumpet here. Uh, I'm really sorry I don't have enough to buy the love trumpet. Um, <laughs> and that means something a little bit different, <laughs> I think, to what... <laughs> Ah, uh, they nail the innuendo in these games all the time. All of the like little weird quirks and jokes are fantastic. They do a really good job of them. Uh, what have we got here? We've got some more friendships developing. Tessa Mania is friendship level one with Wolfric Halfmoon. We still have a lot of jobs for janitors apparently, but I don't see what they are. We have ended our academic year. And let's see what we've won. At least I don't have to contend with a no death award this year. I wonder what it is on this game. What their equivalent is. Okay, what do we have? 100% pass rate. Nobody's graduated yet. 10 of them continue to next year. 86% average exam results. Nobody was expelled, nobody failed, and no dropouts. And this looks like... Academic Excellence Award, awarded to the campus that makes everyone else look a bit stupid by comparison, well done and how dare you. Then we don't have like a best teacher or contribution to research or any of these other ones. Okay, summer break is the perfect time to prepare for the year ahead, build facilities, make unsustainable design choices and bask in last year's glory. Let's expand our range of courses by starting a virtual normality course. All right, so let's add a new course and it is going to be virtual normality. Right. So we need to purchase a new plot. Interesting. I'm going to take on this one, I think. We can buy it empty or buy it with the buildings in place. That's interesting. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it that way. Let's see what that looks like. And we need to build another lecture theatre, a VR lab, and a virtual normality teacher needs to be hired. Oh, okay. So it kind of automatically gives us this new campus building with a nice bit of greenery outside. Okay, that's cool. Very cool. Now, I'm not going to put anything in there yet. We do need to build another lecture theatre. I'm actually just going to copy this one. So we have our second lecture theatre. We'll put that there. And then we'll build our VR lab. VR lab needs to be a 5x4. I'm actually gonna, we're not gonna do that one yet. We're gonna change it up a little bit. Where is it? VR lab. We're gonna drag that all the way along here. We'll put the door in there and then the VR, whatever this is, can go right there. The VR chair in the corner here. What is this? VR headsets. Wait. No, we've covered that already. Increases I learning power. I Curve for the VR desk. And then decided not to. It is possible. Up next, Which we'll put there. Something fresh. Now this one, the VR headsets increase the learning power, so Sorry, maybe we want to put a few of these in. The fun part. And then we'll, we'll put a hand sanitizer in. You can never be too careful. <laughs> Especially in this day and age. <laughs> okay, that'll do. Now let's hire a virtual normality teacher. So what do we got? 70% teaching skill, 70% teaching skill, 70% teaching skill. And then we will, um, what else have we got? Can we add another course? No, we can't, okay. 
let's start the next academic year. Uh, yes. Welcome to the start of a new year. Class, a virtual Our normality heroes. class with grade C, Hello. campus level 5, average happiness rating 62%. Uh, we are being asked to build a rose garden, but again, we don't have the kudosh for it. But we now have people coming in, and we're probably going to need to start expanding some of our rooms. And I'm just wondering if I can if this door over to this side. But for now, we're going to copy some more dorms. This probably isn't the way to do it, but it's the way I'm doing it. <laughs> And then here we'll get this shower room duplicated. For some weird reason that towel rail is now invalid despite the fact that it isn't on the first one that I've built, which is very strange. Uh, we have another toilet here that I'm just going to put in. There we go, right. Everybody's starting to meet each other. Students need a computer cubicle for an assignment. Okay, I'm just going to pause that. We're going to edit this library. We will take out this one and put in the computer cubicle. And then I think we may want to build like a computer lab or something. So we're going to copy this library. Okay, so it won't fit anywhere in there. We'll put it there. It looks like we need an assistant to go in there, so we'll hire another assistant. What have we got here? Movement speed, comic relief, library learning rate. I think that's a good one. In you go. So you now work in the library. Right, let's go. What have we got here? They want to... Hi, I'm Ricky Hawthorne. I don't remember being a student, Meet wizard machine. Sure it okay, yeah, that's People the uh, arcade machine. All the time. Ricky... What would you eat if you were a I'm student? I'm going to put you... And I say anything from the crumbly student range. It's cheap, it's inexpensive, I'm move this. and above all else, it's affordable. Where can I move it to, though? Ooh, ah, there, and then like we'll get the uh, to make. machine in. Janitor required in bathroom. We are, right, what else have we got? Back poster wanted. Ulfric wants a back. <laughs> we'll get it and we'll put it in a random dormitory, so you need to find it. <laughs> and a flat flower planter. Okay, yeah, we can do that. And these need to be outside. So we'll put them all the way along here. Or we'll put one there. Oh! Hey, we did it! That's the one star done. Piazza La Natra, a new campus, has been unlocked. Cool. And we've also unlocked a hot dog kiosk, a coffee kiosk, and a whale fountain. Okay, so as always, we're going to leave it here. We can uh, tackle our next objectives for the two and three star objectives in the next episode, but I'm really enjoying this game so far. I think it's, it's so good. It just builds on the success of Two Point Hospital incredibly well. It's a nice new theme. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and it kind of represents the Two Point team moving away from being that spiritual successor where they kind of echoed a lot of the humour and stuff from Theme Hospital to create Two Point Hospital. This is a step out in their own direction and I'm here for it. I think it's great. Uh, I love the stuff that they've done with this and I'm really excited to play some more. I hope you enjoyed this first look and this first one star episode in career mode which we will be continuing alongside all of the other stuff that's going on in the channel if you want to stick around don't forget to drop me a like a comment and a subscribe just so you can see what's going on in the future and thank you for watching i will see you next time